Hi, it's Drew and Christy Littlemore, Berkshire Hathaway, Maxine and Marty Gallen's team. And today we are doing a video, a Zoom interview with Greg Parker with Prosperity Mortgage. He is under the umbrella that we work under with Home Services Lending. And we heard you talk to our whole office and really have um, a clear understanding of what's going on right now in the lending world. There's some changes happening. So we really wanted to bring you on and um, get your message out to our clients and community. And Drew had some questions for you. Yeah, sure. so, I mean, you know, we're gonna try to keep this casual as possible. So obviously the biggest question people ask me is like, what's going on in the market, right? What's going on in the market? And my answer is, you know, we're on a bit of a pause. Also, the lending rules have changed a little bit. So it's, you know, what's going on in lending definitely affects what's going on in the market. So I just have a couple of questions for you. Um, sure. Number one, um, is it getting harder to get a loan? Like people look qualifying for loans. That's like what, you know, a main question for everybody. Sure. So uh, things certainly have changed um, with the, uh, the current situation. So um, we've certainly had uh, guideline changes, investor changes. Um, some of those examples are uh, a little bit tighter credit on, um, for example, VA and FHA uh, credit score requirements. Um, many of the lenders and investors are increasing those credit score requirements uh, to have 660 and up. Um, so what that means is it's a little bit more important to um, have systems in place on your pre-approvals and talking to clients about different ways to enhance credit scores. Um, so that's one of the things that our company is now doing as well as uh, you know, doing uh, more credit counseling and, and more credit work up front. Um, the other things that have changed is you probably heard on the news or you might have heard uh, different changes in jumbo financing. So uh, jumbo in San Diego is anything over 701,000. So if you're trying to get a loan over 700,000, that would be considered a jumbo loan. And there certainly has been some changes on the jumbo end. Uh, we're still funding business. There are banks still funding business. Um, but what's ha happened is a lot of the Alt-A uh, type of loans um, have certainly changed. So examples of Alt-A lending would be maybe 12 months of bank statements, 24 months of bank statements, or 10% down to 2 million. Uh, you can imagine with all of the changes in the uncertainty in the environment, some of those expanded products have, uh, have gone away um, or been suspended. Uh, I am optimistic that uh, once we get a little bit more stability, a lot of those programs will come back. Uh, but for the time being, uh, many of those programs uh, have been uh, suspended. Um, one of the important things that's changed in regards to uh, self-employed income. So you can imagine that uh, there is some concern with lenders on uh, buyers that are self-employed. Um, so there are uh, overlays and there are uh, uh, conditions, even by Fannie, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, uh, to do verification of employment within 24 hours of funding. And specifically mm -hmm. on self-employed, we're seeing conditions, uh, for example, of uh, providing uh, proof that somebody is still working and still getting paid. So for example, um, let's say that you, you know, own a small company, we're asking for a letter from the client explaining how their business is still operating. Um, as well as getting proof within the last 10 days of uh, income coming in. So those are some examples, um, Drew and Christy, uh, as far as changes that we're, we're facing um, in, the, in the market. And it sounds like the Prosperity Mortgage has been able to continue with some of the products that a lot of the other bigger banks have pulled back on. Is that something I heard you say in our meeting yeah. too? Yeah. Correct. So, so we... We have, uh, well, first of all, through this crisis, we were, we were a little bit lucky as a company. We had about 40 to 50% of our uh, employees already working from home. So we didn't have a lot of uh, changes that way. Um, one of the benefits of being a mortgage banker um, is we had uh, 40 different uh, lenders, options, banks, broker ability. We've got a little bit more flexibility. So if one stops funding, um, we still have others that are still, uh, still funding loans. So we haven't... Uh, we haven't had a lot of issues. Um, certainly there's been changes. Um, we've had, you know, if you have a client that had a six, uh, 615 credit score trying to go FHA, that's something that definitely we need to uh, relook at and uh, help that client maybe improve their credit scores. Some of the changes might be good overall. You know, uh, you, over the last 10 years, 12 years, uh, credit standards have been relaxed just a little bit. We haven't gone back to the 
you know, the uh, 2005, six, seven, where everything was just anybody could get a loan. Um, right. But certainly there were some, some of the credit guidelines were a little bit more relaxed. So this could be a, a good thing in the, in the long run. But we're definitely seeing, and I think you're confirming that in the, in the uh, market right now for real estate, the first most important thing, even to get in to see a house right now, if you're a buyer, is to actually get some approval, go through this process with a lender that you know can, can actually perform. And some sellers are even asking for that. So that's good information. So all these changes, you know, obviously everybody's question is, what did it do to rates? Right? So can you give us a little update on that? Uh, rates are excellent. So um, especially, so uh, remember, there's kind of three main categories. You've got uh, conforming loans. Conforming loans are up to 510000 Then you have something that's called the high balance uh, limit in San Diego that goes up to seven hundred one, dollars um, And then anything over seven hundred one would be considered a jumbo loan. The conforming rates are fantastic. Uh, we're looking at low threes. On a, on a conforming loan and the high balance is a, a fraction of a percent uh, higher. So, you know, you're in the 3.3 to three and a half percent range. Um, so if you look at the history since 1972 when rates were uh, first uh, started to be tracked, I mean, we're, we're on all time lows. Um, that's the part that I'm really optimistic about on the market for buyers um, is that, um, yes, we might have some, some unknowns going forward, um, but if you're able to buy, you're getting locked into pretty much an all-time low on a 30-year fix. So that part's good. Uh, jumbo financing, you can still get uh, decent rates. It's not outrageous. Um, those are, in my prediction, should start to come down in the future once things uh, uh, become a little bit more stable. Um, but jumbo, uh, we locked a loan the other day at uh, 3.625 on a jumbo 30-year fix, which certainly is not, uh, it's not bad. Right, okay. yeah, exactly. Good. So I have a kind of a, a question that's maybe more specific to some of our clients. We've um, interacted with you a little bit about this. I'm not sure what we're calling them, bridge loans or cross collateralization loans, whatever. But so what? So on our end, we have clients that have assets. They don't particularly either want to sell or they can't sell them right at the moment or whatever, and they want to be able to borrow against them. So has that gotten a lot stricter in this in this new time? Yeah, Drew, that, that's a good question. So that would be an example of one of those alt alt products that have been gotcha. affected. So gotcha. uh, bridge loans, cross-collateralization loans. We, we still actually have a lender that will do a cross-collateralization. They're, they're a little higher rates. Yeah, um, but sure. the amount of investors that we're offering those has shrunk. You know, we don't have as many options on the bridge loans. Um, but we still have asset depletion uh, which is uh, along the lines that uh, we've talked about in the past, where if somebody has a lot of assets and very little income, um, we can use their assets in qualifying uh, as far as income wise. So gotcha. um, certainly there's there's uh, still some options there. Yeah, okay. well, great. great. Yeah, awesome. Um, so can you just give us like an overall kind of like what your feeling is as to what's going to happen in the next, I mean, no one's got a crystal ball. Everybody asks me the same questions. I try to answer them as best I can but like your feeling of what's gonna happen over the next you know, six to 12 months with mortgages. Yeah, I, I think a lot of that's gonna be kind of tied to what happens with, uh, with the pandemic, you know, how fast we get uh, back to stability, how fast the markets uh, start to uh, even out. Um, I can speak over the last 30 to 60 days, um, you know, what's happened um, since we've gone into this. Um, at first, the mortgage market there was a couple weeks I've been doing this for 24 years, 21 years. I've never seen anything like it for a couple week period where right. rates were going up and down almost a half a percent uh, per day. Um, the last couple weeks, we've seen a lot more stability, meaning rates have now kind of stabilized. Um, I think that uh, the Fed involvement, I know that there was a major announcement today um, regarding the uh, federal support for loan servicing. That was a big concern on the lending side. Um, so a lot of the mortgage loan servicers, uh, the uh, Mr. Coopers of the world that you're making your mortgage payments and the, uh, the different companies that are sending uh, and collecting fees uh, and collecting payments, uh, they, were, they were really struggling because you've got like 6% of the loans now that are going into forbearance. Um, so I know that there's going to be some support there and it was much needed. That should even help the lending industry further. Um, my uh, impression as far as, um, uh, you know, the market, 
you know, uh, uh, your clients, I'm sure, can uh, talk to you about uh, supply and demand of, of housing. But I, I do know that it's still a wonderful time to buy um, from an interest rate standpoint. Um, I know that the loans that we've done over the last 12 years, um, there was an interesting um, article and slide that uh, I read recently that compares 2008 and what happened at that time to 2020. And if you remember in 2008, we had a massive run up of sales price on right. properties from 2005 to 2008, um, which caused a massive dip uh, you know, after 2008, I don't see that happening uh, in real estate uh, yeah. prices uh, going That's forward. That's a big question that yeah. we're hearing from a lot of our buyers we're waiting, you know, like, well, how long should we wait? You know, is this going to come down? And, and we're also hearing like, no, it's not like going to happen like that. So exactly. yeah, I, I don't believe that's going to happen. And, and I just um, look at it from uh, my own loans that I've done over the last 12 years are solid loans. Better down payments, full income documentation, asset documentation. Um, remember something that like, uh, and you'll be able to share this, but 30% of the deals are cash. So, um, you know, there, there's certainly uh, enough, I think, support to uh, ward off any type of crash. I don't think that that would happen. Yeah. yeah. So I had the opportunity to work at a mortgage servicing company when uh, in like 1991. <laughs> and that was when all the S&S savings and loan stuff was going on. And that was... Okay absolute chaos like I was like worked in a uh, in the phone bank like talking to people trying to help them get themselves set up with this servicer and um yeah that was a, that was that was an incredible time for sure yep. yep yeah well good yeah Greg thank you so much for joining us and I yep. do have to comment I love your background I love that yep. um you know you get, that's your home <laughs> office we're all meeting from home right now we're all still working I mean Drew and I just closed on a town home with you know multiple offers and we've had calls this week. So, you know, the market's still moving in San Diego, maybe not as much as we would have seen in a, you know, a, a regular springtime, but people are still needing to buy homes. So we'll, uh, thank you so much. And I'm sure we'll see you soon. And uh, Greg's yep. link will be in this, in, this in the video, video when we yeah. post it. And uh, so can you know. our clients call you? Yes, absolutely. We're still working. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Awesome. All right. Great. Very good. All right. Thanks, Thanks, Greg. Appreciate Greg. It. See you. Thank you.